guys, welcome back to Kara Jo Plans. Today I'm doing a weekly plan with me in my hourly Erin Condren planner. And I am using kit 193 from last year from Planner Kate. And I'm pretty excited. I love all these Christmas kits. I especially love the plaids on this one and just that warm red tone. Absolutely love it. So let's get started. Alright, so I've got the basic layout down and now I'm going to go ahead and do the sidebar, which I think I'll start with this um, Monday through Sunday sticker and I've been putting, the other time that I used a kit like this, I put the weather on that sticker. And then I'm going to put a checkbox. And then let's see. This habit tracker down here. Let me move this one a little bit. Um, good news, the last time I used a kit like this, I did put the habit tracker in and I used the habit tracker. Not every day, but I used it. So I'm getting somewhere. Okay, so there's the sidebar. And I'll save those boxes. And let me see what's going on this week. So the 14th through the 20th. So I've got appointments in the evening on Wednesday and Thursday. So let's get those marked. I have my first facial appointment since quarantine started. Um, might be my last two. I am discontinuing my Massage Envy membership soon. I need to call. I don't know if I need to go in and sign any papers or not. I don't know what their cancellation policy is now with COVID. I know you used to have to actually go to the location to cancel, so we'll see. Because my membership is actually through a different... Um, location than where I go get my services now. And then Sunday is Jackson's birthday. So I think what I'm going to do is use this plaid sticker in the evening. and then put this bow sticker on top of it to mark the party time. 
And when I say party, I mean like my parents are coming over, maybe my aunt. It's people that my kids see all the time anyhow. So just put that there, that's cute. And then we'll do church in the morning. Do we have anything else? I think that's it for like appointments and stuff. So what I wanna do is I wanna use these full boxes to decorate the weekly part of the view. Um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Because I've been using I want to use my daily duo more for tasks rather than my weekly view. Like I want my weekly view to be pretty clean. So I think I'm just going to make it more decorative during work time rather than cluttering that up with evening stuff because technically this is work and I'm not getting anything done for home during that time. These are cute. And then one more on Friday. So it looks like my kids aren't going to go back to school till after Christmas break. We'll see. It looks like our governor's putting more restrictions out again tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just kind of, whatever. I'm kind of over it. I know that this is very serious and stuff, but the kids need to be in school. I'm, I'm sorry if you disagree with that, but my kids are little and they're not learning anything on virtual. They're just not so, and it's very frustrating to have to put that on my mom to take care of that so that I can go to work. Because even if I, I did work from home, I wouldn't get anything done because they're just so little that they need so much hands-on help. So it's just, it's frustrating for me. Okay, let's see here. Garbage. Trash day. Tuesday. There we go. Should have used tweezers on that one. And then Tuesday is also my Hello Fresh delivery. So let's do this one here. Now I had gotten HelloFresh a couple years ago and really liked the convenience of it. Um, but it was it was just not fitting into my budget at the time. Now that I've gotten settled and I'm working five days a week, it's really hard for me to make meals just for one person and come up with the ideas. So I decided to give HelloFresh a try again because my kids eat other stuff all the time and my mom ends up feeding them. So I thought maybe if I ordered HelloFresh and got healthy meals for myself, I wouldn't be like eating out at lunchtime at work. And I just thought that that would be more helpful. So let's go ahead and start putting some script stickers down. And I did get a bunch of new script stickers um, during Black Friday. Tons, 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 tons. So let's see, I got a bunch of Life and Envelope stickers. And a lot of these are for my budgeting and my YouTube. 
but some of these are um, can go in my regular planner as well. I'm just looking to see where everything is because I haven't organized these into their own sleeves in my book yet. So I'm just looking to see where everything is. So I know I want a fun Friday. And let's see. I think that was the only one out of there that I wanted. That really, where are the rest of them? The rest of them must be somewhere else. I'm talking to myself, guys. La la la. That one goes with some other, with other stickers. Okay, so those are mostly all YouTube stickers. Here they are. Fun Friday and movie night and clean the house. And these are from Life and Envelopes. Like I said, um, I am a PR girl for Life and Envelopes, Jennifer over there. And if you use my code in her shop, you can get 15% off your whole order. It's Kara Joe 15 and it's awesome to save 15%. So go ahead and go do that. Some of these need moved. I got a hot mess here. Like I said, still need to organize all the stickers that I got during the Black Friday sales. So I will be working on that eventually. All right, let's see here. More script stickers. Bath night. La -la. Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. And the temperature has been in the 30s around here recently and I'm not ready for it. I'm just not. Uh, it's a little too chilly for me. Then I'm still going to use up these church stickers that I have in this older font before I switch to the Gen Plans font because I have so many of them. I just want to get them used up and they're black scripts so it really doesn't bother me that it's not the exact same font. I'm fine with that. And then, let's see. So another fun development in my life, my washer. I ran a load of laundry the other day and I have a front load Samsung. And when I went to open it, there was like this steamy smoke that came out of the, the drum where the clothes were. It didn't smell bad. The clothes weren't damaged. I just have no idea. I have no idea what happened. Um, so I started Googling some stuff and it could be one of two things. One would be this part that Samsung doesn't make anymore that you just can't replace because they don't make it anymore. And the other possible explanation was I need a whole new drum. So one, the part you can't replace anymore, I'd be kind of out of luck, period. The second one, um, the drum replacement is like two to three hundred dollars to replace the drum and my washer is already 10 years old so against my budget because I did not have that much planned for a washer I ordered a new washer I decided not to get the matching dryer I don't care if they match I really just want to kind of stay in control of my budget so I did order a new washer that's supposed to be here the day after Christmas so we'll see this one's still kind of eking its way through I um it still washes and I keep an eye on it it hasn't smoked since that time but again it's 10 years old and I just don't want to take any chances I'm not comfortable with it running without me being down in the basement watching it so just for my peace of mind and the fact that it would be expensive to have someone look at it or fix it and it's already pretty well aged. I'm just going to get a new one. And then I'm putting the virtual learning stickers on Monday through Wednesday. Our school board's supposed to have a meeting Wednesday night 
to decide whether the kids are going to stay virtual or go back to class. But I honestly can't see them going back to class for two days this week and then two and a half days the next week before Christmas. It just doesn't... I've been on this boat before, so I just really don't think that they're going to be going back to school, but I'm only going to put the virtual learning on the three days that I know for sure that they will be virtual, but I am figuring that they'll be virtual till at least well after Christmas, which they were having all kinds of Zoom problems today, and my son was getting so frustrated because he felt like he was falling behind. Because like when you get kicked off Zoom, you don't realize, you don't know if it's happening to just you or if it's happening to everybody. And he just gets so flustered and worried because he just gets anxious when he's not up to speed. And I feel so bad that he got so worked up. So I got my work stickers down. And then this week will be zone three. I've been trying to implement a little bit more of the fly lady back into my life as well. I check her little missions. Today I um, cleaned out my silverware drawer, which wasn't too bad. I got the little vacuum in the little slots and wiped it out and everything. It wasn't too, too bad. So I did that. And that always feels good to get that done. All right, let's get these three stickers on here. Let me find some boxes to put them on. All right, so Fun Friday. Let's do... Let's do this one. And really on Fridays, what I like to do is just kind of unplug and spend time with my boys, play games, that kind of stuff. And then Saturday night, we'll do a movie night. That's cute. And then Saturday morning, I'm going to put my clean house sticker. Perfect. That way it'll be ready for Jackson's little party. All right, let's go to some icon stickers. Not doing any budgeting, no lace starts, no oil changes, no grocery pickups. Let's see here. Maybe I don't need as many icons if I'm just doing all these scripts. I'm not going to use silverware this week because I'm going to do, I don't know where I'm going to do my meal planning, but I'm not doing it right. I'm not going to use those. And then let's see. I think I'll use these dark red bathtubs next to the bath nights. It's not exactly the same red, but close enough. Should have left room for those. I didn't leave room for those. Next time, I will learn. I will learn. Like I said, I've been doing this planning stuff and making videos for almost a year now. No, it's been a year. And I still have no idea what I'm doing. And that's okay. Every week's a little bit different. All right, let's pick a color for Jackson's birthday. Let's do red again. He's decided his new favorite color is red. His whole life it's always been green. And now he's switching to red. So everything has to be red now. Super cute. He's adorable. All right, and let's get one of these new church doodle stickers from Planner Kate. Look how cute that is. 
so adorable so detailed for how little it is too I love it and then I have nail polish bottles as well for my nail appointment Next up, these stickers. So I kind of organized a lot of my Once More With Love and Coffee Monsters Co. stickers and pulled them off the tabs and just set them in here. So I've got these going on. And I love these little drop-off pickup stickers. They're so adorable. So cute. Oh, I didn't put my YouTube video stickers up here yet either. Let's do, let's see if I have enough to do that. This kit's a little different. Um, I don't even know what days my videos are on. Monday. Sunday are usually the days I get videos up. If I have to change those, I will. Work's been kind of busy, but I feel like it's slowing down. Like you can tell like there are certain times of the day and on certain days where we just don't get any calls coming in. It's kind of nice. I like being busy but it is kind of nice to have a little breather every once in a while and get caught up on stuff. I just really like my job. Every day is so different. Like the one day I spent the whole day doing quotes. The next day I did zero quotes and did all kinds of service calls. And you just really don't know until you get there and find out what's going on and who's calling, claims. It's just really neat that every day is different. Keeps me on my toes. All right, so let's see. Oh, I've got these really cute little laundry stickers. Let's do, oh, this one's adorable. Let's pick this one out and do laundry. And then trash day. There we go, that one is so cute. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's see, I haven't have anything else. Study. I definitely need to study. Let's see, Tuesday night. I need to get my test scheduled too, so not only do I need to study, I actually need to get my test scheduled. So hopefully by next week I will know when I'm taking my test and that'll be ready to go. Oh, these coffee cups are just so pretty. Look how pretty the colors are on these coffee cups. I feel like this mauve one would look really pretty. Get my coffee in the morning before church. That's so pretty. All 
All right, let's see. Jackson's birthday. Okay, so I got Jackson's birthday on there. My camera timed out, so I just finished writing Jackson's birthday there. And then, I don't know what videos I'm doing yet, so I think this is pretty much it. I think it's a very kind of plain, easy to like see what's going on kind of spread, and I'm not going to write too much on this one, other than in my sidebar I'll figure out which habits I want to track this week and list some of my zone cleaning once I look at the Fly Ladies website. And I'll either use this for weather or meals. We'll see. We'll see once I start the week how what I want to do with that. I'm thinking meals is probably more useful to me than weather. And then I'll figure out which videos are going up on those days and if I need to add any more. But I think that's pretty much it, guys. So tell me what you think about not putting a checklist on the weekly view and just leaving it more as like a static plan. Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are and let me know your thoughts on this kit too. I'm loving the colors. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment below. Have a great day. Bye.